Hey everybody, happy Tuesday morning. It may be getting towards the end of August, but we're still going to be dealing with some summer-like heat. Today will be no different. We are going to hang on to the winds that we saw yesterday, so that's a little unfortunate, so it's going to be a little bit blustery. That's because we're sitting in between two systems, sandwiched between a low-pressure system off towards the northwest and a high off towards our east. So we're just kind of sitting here wondering uh, what's the next move and uh, the next move is actually going to be uh, this cold front that's going to move through the area. And as it does, it's going to bring with it the chance for some showers and storms later on tonight. Best chance would be across eastern Nebraska and western Iowa. High pressure is going to move in behind it and clear us out for the end of the week. It's also going to cool us down pretty significantly. Your severe weather threat for today, a slight risk across the southeast. That doesn't include really extreme southeastern South Dakota, but more so Nebraska and Iowa. It's a two out of five on that uh, five point scale. So could see some stronger storms and uh, that's because winds are helping keep that warmth in place, setting us up for that front. They'll be out of the south 15 to 25 miles per hour. Look as we go into tomorrow, these winds will shift. They'll be out of the northwest. Now the good news is it doesn't look like it's going to be nearly as breezy tomorrow uh, for most of us as it will be today. The winds are also causing fire issues. Red flag warning for much of western South Dakota. Those locations should not be burning anything because they got low relative humidity, high winds. You're just asking for a small fire to get out of control. Your forecast for today, mid to upper 80s for the eastern half of the viewing area could come close to 90 along the Missouri River. Most of the day, we should see uh, just a few clouds. And then towards the evening hours along that front, it could dig into a little bit of instability, causing some showers and storms overnight into early tomorrow morning. We're clearing out, cooling down Thursday, Friday, back in the mid-70s, but we're warming up, it looks like, through the weekend. Good news is, for those who need some rain, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, all of those days, holding a small chance for some showers and storms. So that's good news there. Uh, stay cool today, and uh, as Sarah Blakely would say, ponytail alert for the ladies or the guys with the long hair. You might want to throw uh, throw it in a scrunchie or something because uh, the winds are going to be howling, but they look to improve as we go towards uh, the last half of the week. Good talking to you. Have a wonderful afternoon, and uh, we'll see you later.